Hello learners, my name is teacher Jonathan and welcome to Easy Elimo Learning Simplified. In our lesson for today, Grade 4 Mathematics, we are working out or simplifying algebraic expressions. Simplifying algebraic expression. And as it has been our question, how can you simplify algebraic expression? For more on this, join me in our today's lesson as we simplify. And in our previous lesson, we learned how to form this algebraic expression, either involving multiplication, division, subtraction, and addition. Algebraic forming algebraic expression, either involving addition, subtraction, multiplication, and addition. And I would like us now today we pair up and we identify the counters that we have here on board on our table. So these are the counters that we have. The many they can be. And now, our question for today. I would like us to solve this in our groups. Four learners add these counters. Four learners add these counters. Now, the first boy, the first boy, or the first learner, the first learner add. This learner was John. John add S. Counters. John. John add S. Counters. The second one is Tom. Tom also add number of counters. How many did Tom add? Two Q counters. Two Q counters. Victor. Victor also add how many counters? Victor add three T counters. Three T counters. Three T counters. And the last person the last person is Abdi. Abdi had four S counters. Abdi had four S counters. Abdi had four S counters. Now, these are the number of counters that we had. These are the number of counters all together. These counters belonged to four boys. These counters belonged to four boys. The first boy is John with S counters. The second one is Tom with two Q counters. And the third one is Victor with three T counters. And then Abdi with four S counters. Remember, we are simplifying. So how many counters? Because we have them in one group. How many counters do they have? This is how we do it. We'll add all this. We'll put together for John. John add S counters. We add the number of Counters Tom and were two Q counters plus we are adding the victors number of counters were three T counters and the last one was for Abdi for S counters. This equation, this algebraic equation is representing this number of counters. This algebraic expression is representing this number of counters. Tom has S counters, uh, John has S counters, Tom 2Q counters, Victor 3T counters, and Abdi 4S counters. Now, when we are simplifying, we look for the like terms. Here, we are now working with two terms, like terms and unlike terms. Like terms can be brought together, unlike terms, you cannot bring them together. Learners, that is very key. We are working with like terms like terms and unlike terms. Those are the two terms or words we'll be using these phrases, the like terms and unlike terms. So like terms, we can bring them together. Like terms, we can bring to them together. How will you identify like terms, learners? How will you identify like terms, Victoria? Like terms, you will identify them by which le which oh which boys have the same counters represented by the same letter for John as S counters and also we have Abdi with four S counters so S and S can be brought together because they are like terms but Q and T are not like terms so they will remain the same 
So we'll now bring in the like terms. We'll take S plus 4S. And when we bring them together, we get 5S. Now we have said the others are unlike. The others are unlike. So now our final simplified algebraic expression will be 5S plus 2Q plus 3T. That is our final simplified algebraic expression. Remember, how 5S is unlike to 2Q is unlike to 3T. So we let them be the way they are. And now here we have simplified our expression. Initially it was long like this one, but now we have shortened it by bringing the like terms together. Now our next group activity, our next group activity that I would like us we work out, I would like us we work out. Simplify, simplify our next group activity. We are simplifying, simplify. What are we simplifying? 9c plus 3c. We are simplifying 9c plus 3c. Now, who can tell us what we will do? Tom, you can tell us what will we do? The first thing is identify whether the letters used in our the expression are the like terms and the letters used here is C and C that is to mean we can bring them together because they are like terms so now we'll take 9 plus 3 we can use our place value chart or our Habakkuk to put together when we are doing addition and 9 plus 4 is 12 and they are 12 what? C. That will become our answer. That will become our answer. That was number one. Number two to simplify. Number two to simplify is 9M take away 4M. Remember, we have learned how to form an algebraic expression involving four arithmetic operations. The arithmetic operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now, the second question, Victor, what shall we do? We identify whether we have like terms. And remember, we have 9M and 4M. M and M are like terms. So, we will have M. We will have M. We will have M. Now, we take 9, take away 4. And we have five. This becomes our answer, our simplified answer. That is how learners we simplify algebraic expression. Now we can try the following task. We can try the following task. And the task for today are the task for today are simplify. What are you simplifying? Simplify number one four t plus two t. What do we get? Number two, we are simplifying thirteen a minus seven a. We are simplifying number three. We are simplifying also eight b. Take away three b. And the final final task is. 9q, 9p, sorry, 9p, we are adding 2r, we are adding 8r. That is our final task for today. Remember, as you simplify, identify the like terms and the unlike terms. Like terms, bring them together, and unlike terms, leave them the way they are. Then write your expression. Is the final answer the way we have done with the first activity that we did. With this marks the end of our lesson for today. Remember to do more practice on simplifying algebraic expressions. Through the internet you can access so many arithmetics involving 
simplifying of algebraic expression and try to make more practice on these as you solve them and work them out. Meet again in the next lesson. Bye-bye.